In this particular lesson, we're going to make use of explicit intents to open a new activity. So currently we have main activity and we have the layout. Let's quickly change this hello world to Let's create another activity. To create another activity in Android Studio, we click here, right click, go to new, um, down to activity. Now, there are different types of activities. For now, we just want an empty activity. All those other options are special activities where Android Studio helps you generate the code. For example, a login activity would help you generate the code or structure to help you quickly create a login activity. So what we are creating now is empty activity. And I can call it second acti. This would be the name of the Java file. And as I'm creating it, Android Studio will also create the layout file. The name of the layout file is activity second. So we can say finish. So we have second activity and then the layout. Let's just drag and drop a text view here. Just put it in the center. Come over, change it to second activity. The reason I'm putting a text here is so that once we go to the activity and we see this text, then we know that the activity was actually changed because this layout is for second activity. As you can see, second activity sets activity second as its content view. For main activity, it sets activity main. So because we are going from main activity to second activity, the intent to change the activity would be in main activity. So we can have a button here such that once it is clicked, it should change the activity. I can change the text of the button to click me. Just something quick. The ID of the button is button. We can leave it as that. So let's come here. I can even come here and reference the button, button. So here is the click list now. What should I do once this button is clicked? So the first thing I need to create is an intent. Intent, I'll give the variable name intent is equal to new intent now this will accept two values the first is the context so i'll say main activity dot this the second is the activity we want to open so we will specify the java class that handles the activity the name of the java class is second activity dot class So we can come over and say start activity and it accepts an intent. So we'll pass in this intent. Let's run this. So here we have the first activity and it shows activity one. Once I click it, boom, we have the second activity. So this is an explicit intent. It 
says explicitly the component that should handle this intent, the component that should be started. In the next lesson, we'll make use of implicit intent, which states something that you want to do and then apps that can handle it will pop up.